Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn More Mess. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem from exercise 1.4. Uh, prove that the following are irrational numbers. Uh, so the first one is uh, 1 by root 2. So here uh, how can we prove 1 by root 2 is an irrational number? Uh, uh, see here, uh, here we use the indirect method to prove 1 by root 2 is an irrational number. First we have to uh, let it is a rational number. Uh, if it is rational number, rational numbers are of the form of uh, p by q. So let us assume on the contrary uh, that uh, 1 by root 2 is a rational number. 1 by root is a rational number. Then there exist positive integers uh, a and b uh, such that uh, so if 1 by root is rational we can write uh, 1 by root 2 is equal to a by b so 1 by root 2 is equal to a by b where a comma b are co primes a comma b are the co primes so by squaring on both sides uh, we get uh, what we get uh, see here on the left side uh, uh, 1 by root 2 we have 1 by root 2 on the left side uh, 1 by root 2 whole square is equal to so a by b whole square so 1 by root 2 whole square that is 1 square by root 2 whole square we get 1 by 2 is equal to uh, a square by b square so 1 by 2 is equal to what a square by uh, b square so now uh, by cross multiplication by cross multiplication we get uh, so on the left side of uh, 1 into b square we get 1 into b square is equal to 2 into a square that is uh, b square is equal to b square is equal to 2 a square uh, let it is equation number 1. So here uh, b square is a multiple of 2 that uh, we can write uh, uh, 2 divides b square if 2 divides b square 2 divides b also so we have one proven statement if p is a prime and a is any positive integer if p divides a square then p divides a so using that proven statement we can write up if 2 uh, we can write uh, from equation 1 uh, uh, 2 divides b square uh, that implies uh, 2 divides uh, b also so from the proven statement we can write this statement up so 2 divides uh, b square that implies uh, 2 divides b 2 divides uh, b so therefore we can write uh, if 2 divides b uh, b is equal to 2 into some integer we can write uh, so 2 is a multiple of b hence we can write uh, b is equal to so how can we write b is equal to 2 into c here c is an integer c is an integer so again now what we have to do see here by squaring on both sides again by squaring on both sides we get on the left side we have b by squaring we can get a b square on the left side b square is equal to 2 into c whole square that is 2c whole square so further by simplification we can get right uh, b square as usual on the left side b square is equal to here 4c square 2c whole square is 4c square so here from equation 1 but b square is equal to 2a square so instead of writing b square i am writing 2a square on the left side 2a square is equal to 4c square so from equation 1 uh, we can write this so his square is equal to 2c square a square is equal to 2c square so again we can write uh, 2 divides a square here what we can write uh, 2 divides a square uh, that implies uh, 2 divides a also if 2 divides a square that implies 2 divides a so 2 is a common factor of both a and b so 2 divides we have 2 divides a and 2 divides b so we can write 2 is a common factor of both a and b so but very starting we uh, let uh, uh, what we thought uh, a and b are the co primes so, but here 2 is a common factor but this uh, contradicts our assumption uh, that a and b have no common factors so a and b but this contradicts our assumption that a and b have no common factors this means that our assumption is not correct this means that our assumption is not correct so hence so we can decide that 1 by root 2 is not a rational number it is an irrational 
hence uh, 1 by root 2 is an irrational number so that's all today's class student uh, we will meet in the next class with uh, another problem